Hey, what is up guys? The Michigan Minecrafter back here with another video and today um, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I've been up to. So the reason I haven't uploaded a video in the last couple of days is not because of scheduling issues or anything that's been happening in the past with like driver's training or anything like that. It's because I've been, uh, I finally decided to get to work on um, the server project which I've been talking about for a while now which is taking the elements from my Michigan world from Bixopolis and from all the other things that I've shown you guys uh, over the past year and a half and just combining them all into the server um, so uh, right now everything's a work in progress I've been experimenting with some things uh, which I'm gonna show you in a second here um, and it's still going to be a while before any of this is actually in, uh, in the server where you guys can mess around with it, but, um, part of what you guys are going to see here today, uh, is working with a program called MC Edit, as you could probably see right now, um, which is a really, really cool Minecraft world editing program, which, which is really helpful as far as, like, um, doing large-scale things. Um, with a lot less time than it would take in normal Minecraft. Um, so let's get right into it. So basically what I'm going to show you guys is what I've been doing as a proof of concept uh, that is going to uh, kind of, how do I explain it? Like, it, it's basically the same concept as, as what I'm going to use to make the server world, but... Um, this is going to be just kind of a proof of concept thing, not the actual thing. So first of all, we are going to go in and load up Bixopolis in here right now. So um, if you guys have never used MC Edit before, it basically renders Minecraft the same way Minecraft does, just a little bit more grainy. Okay, so let's see. What do we want to grab? Basically what I'm going to do is grab one of these buildings that I want to copy and paste, and I'm going to select the whole thing and take it into another world. Um, so let's start with the nether tower thing, because I feel like that'd be a cool one to do it with. Uh, so let's do that real quick. Let's see, where do we want to select from? Oops, sorry about that. The controls in here are really hard. Um, I'm still getting used to them, because the, the controls for MC Editor are like, really funky. But let's see. Let's select from oh there we go my uh, selection tool was being weird so let's select from there oh gosh what is going on there we go so confusing um, up to the top of the nether tower which is not going the way that I am wanting it to right now um, and if you guys are interested in like working with MC Edit after seeing this um, and you don't know what the controls are basically it's just you right click um, to move your camera view around and left click to do selections okay there we go and left click again there we go now we've got our selection that was more complicated than it needed to be but whatever so we've got our building selected so the next thing that we're gonna do is click copy which will make this little selection up here in the corner um, and then if we go into the MC edit menu um, we can do close which will close the world but it won't close the program if you want to do that it's the quit button um, and then we're gonna load up our copy and paste world which is my proof of concept world for copying and pasting things and here we go um, as you can see, I've already copied and pasted my Michigan world in here, so that actually worked pretty well. As you can see, uh, the water is all where it's supposed to be, um, and pretty much everything copied the way it was supposed to. Um, I actually forgot to use the backup world save for this one, so it ended up having the, uh, the box from, uh, this is the box that has, like, all the command blocks in it from... Uh, the helicopter uh, vanilla mod thing so yeah that's that's why that's there but let's go find a place where we want to paste our nether 
tower building thing. Um, let's see. So all we got to do is click on that, and it's rendering in there for us. So we can just move this around, and uh, again, you can just right click to look where I want to, and then, yeah, so let's see, what would be a good place for this to go? Um, as you can see, it's like kind of glitchy. Uh, let's see, if, if we get a little closer to the ground, maybe it'll make things easier. Nope, that is glitching out real bad. Uh, maybe it'd be easier if we found like a flat spot to put our mouse. That way it's not confused about like uh, where is flat ground. Um, is this water right here? Must be. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll just put it down on top of that then. That might make it a little easier. So if I right click, oh geez. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, come on. Yeah, a little funky. Um, let's see. Oh gosh. Um, come on. This is so tricky. Like, it was a lot easier when I was doing uh, the Michigan map because it's in the water. Uh, which makes things a little simpler. Um, maybe we'll just set it right here, actually. Yeah, I think that'd look good. Um, put it partially into the ground. <laughs> that actually looked kind of cool, uh, like a buried temple kind of thing. Actually, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do that. Um, maybe just with the bottom floor. Um, we'll sink it into the ground a little bit. Yeah, let's see what that looks like. Boom. Oh. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> I was confused because I let go of right click, which is what I was using to place it, but I need to left click it to put it there. There we go. So then if we fly around it, we could check out the placement, make sure it's where we want it to be. Um, and the weird thing about MC Edit is it shows all these grass blocks on the inside right now, but it's actually not going to keep them. Um, it's just going to kind of outline the building and place things where they need to go. Uh, so let's do that. I think it looks good right there, so let's just click import. There we go. And I think that should be good. Yep, the building looks good. Uh, let's see about the shop over here. Uh, the door is a little blocked, actually. It looks like the grass is on the same level as the door. So, yep, that worked out pretty well. Um, so then if we click save, where is that? There we go. Click save. And just got to save all the chunks and whatnot. And then we can click quit, which will take us out of MC Edit. And then if we go into Minecraft, then I think it should be updated, hopefully, um, with the building. Otherwise, maybe I'll have to uh, close and reopen Minecraft, but I'm not 100% sure how that works. Nope. Looks like it's right here. Perfect. All right. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much how MC Edit works, guys. If you're interested in checking it out, um, I guess I could put a link for it in the description, or if I forget to, then just leave a comment, and uh, I will be sure to get back and do that. But, yeah, that's basically what I've been working on lately, guys, um, is just making sure that MC Edit's working correctly, because, as you can see, it can have a big impact on worlds, and I, I want to make sure that it doesn't screw anything up when I'm trying to make the server. But, um, yeah, that worked out pretty well. Oh, didn't mean to do that. So one last little thing that I wanted to point out is that I've also been working with another uh, world editing program. Or actually, in this case, it's a mod. It's called um, uh, World Editor. My friend Josh is more familiar with it than I am um, because he used to experiment with it a lot on uh, his server back in the day. But essentially, you could do all this crazy stuff um, within Minecraft as opposed to with uh, World Edit where, or with MC Edit where you have to be in a separate program. Um, and it has, like, all these different tools you can use. Like, for example, I think if I press L, there we go. It, it brings up this little screen that shows me all the different things you could do. I'm having a little trouble getting used to it and figuring out how to do different things. So if you guys out there are familiar with uh, World Edit, then uh, if you could leave some advice for me in the in the comments, I guess, because I don't really know what I'm doing. 
I know how to get the wand tool, and I know how to do like the brush command, which is what I've been doing. That's how I kind of flattened out this uh, area that was previously like a cliff sort of thing when I first imported my Michigan world. But basically what I'm going to be using it for is just smoothing things out once I import worlds. Um, but yeah, again, if you guys know more about how to use World Edit, then uh, if you could leave me some advice, that'd be super awesome because uh, I'm having a little trouble with it. But I think, let me see, let's try it out. Let's see if I can remember the command. Um, if I do it all the way over here, let's see if I could do slash slash brush. I think that's how that works. Uh, or Yeah, right? No, uh, let's see. Slash slash. Uh, oh, it's smooth. I think is what it is. So, slash slash smooth. Yeah. So it kind of smooths everything out. Um, I would need to mess around with it a little more to really understand how it works and uh, like get a little more used to it. But let's see if maybe if I make it a little more widespread maybe it would smooth it out a little bit more so slash slash smooth uh, did that do anything uh, not really yeah so again guys if you know a little bit more about world edit uh, some advice would be really helpful because I have no idea what I'm doing uh, I've watched a couple of tutorial videos and again don't really know what uh, to do like I don't know a lot of the videos online are about using it as a server plugin as opposed to a single player mod. So, and some of the functionality is different. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, but yeah, so if you guys are interested in either of these uh, programs or mods or whatever, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.